I saw this interview last night. I thought it was pretty interesting. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional. Fresh, he was asking about how can you get fit, get your mind correct, what you want to do, get clear on your goals. Some journeys are walked alone. Have a reason as to why you want to become healthier. Summer's coming, I would say 26 days left for you guys. A little over four weeks to try and accomplish your goals. They're missing the reason and the willpower to do it. I think a lot of people, they already know what to do. Entrepreneurship, bro, is like health and wellness because it's like Tristan just said, bro, if you ain't alive, you fuck. What can I actually eat? My diet is terrible, bro. If he's so rich, why does he eat at McDonald's? Why does he need to hire a chef? He's addicted to this kind of food. They're competing with the richest companies. They hire the smartest engineers and scientists for your time, your attention, and resources. It all comes down to the money. They don't care about your health individually. They have healthy choices. We could make healthy choices when we go out. His name is Fresh for Fresh Prince CEO. He should change the meaning of his name Fresh to Fresh Produce or Fresh Food. I heard McDonald's is really a real estate company. They have 36,000 locations in 100 different countries. If you are addicted to drinks, how can you stop the root of the addiction? If you're addicted to sugar or caffeine, you go cold turkey. You wouldn't necessarily give somebody addicted to something more of it. You would just be perpetuating that behavior. If you don't stop, then it would be an endless cycle. It's a feedback loop. I do every single day. The thing is though, you ask these questions, I feel like you already know the basic answers. Mm -hmm. You eat McDonald's every day. Not to do that. You're trying to get into the specifics yeah. without covering the basics. Do you know what I mean? McDonald's is expensive. To it's like when people yeah. care about fitness. What's the exact correct technique to lift this and lift that? People who don't train. For a quarter pounder meal, you'd probably be paying $15 versus if you went to Walmart and you bought 10 pounds of ground beef, it's about $35 in California. And all, just go running and do some push -ups. Everyone knows like the answers. Step one, stop people with McDonald's every day. That, that, once you do that, worry more about the exact specifics of what you're eating like, what you're not. What I, what I would say That's a good point. What I would say something's really good is always being conscientious of what you eat. You got to get clear on your goals of what you want because you can know that you're overeating. It's a waste of money, time. If you don't stop, it'll be an endless cycle. Coke is like coffee with milk and sugar. It's a diuretic. If you went to the movie theater, they serve you salty popcorn to get you thirsty. You have your Coke. I personally don't drink Coke with calories. Sometimes I drink a soda, but sometimes it will give me leg reflex. I would try and drink it and then it would come back out. For sure, Coke, you would drink it and then you would pee it out. You would pee out the water, it would get you more thirsty. Salt normally makes you retain water in your body. It's coupled with caffeine. And if you're, you're eating and drinking a lot of salty foods, it gives you high blood pressure. Caffeine, it dehydrates you because it's a diuretic. If you drink a can of Coke, you'd have to replace it with a glass of water. You're essentially having to drink more because you're going to the bathroom more. These are empty calories with little to no nutritional value. At all times in my life, I have some sort of dietary restriction, right? So I diet, I limit some sort of thing. Right now, I, I limit high fructose corn syrup, like processed sugars. I don't do any of that garbage. I don't do caffeine. They process those components because it's cheaper for them to produce the food. I limit my diet. Why? So every time I eat, I'm... I don't even want to waste my time making coffee because it takes time. It stains my teeth. I got caffeine pills. I'm on the ECA stack right now. I'll be doing it for however many days that it takes to get up to the summertime. I'm conscious. Think about the most basic common things that everybody has. Eating, sleeping, exercising. If you do these kinds of things every day, you should get knowledgeable on them and how to be efficient at them as well. But not everybody has those clear goals or desires to do it. You're free to do whatever you want. You're free to live however you want. The most basic elements. Well However you're operating, you can see it based on how this person is. He's smoking a cigar. I thought that it was interesting. It does help you lose weight. I'll discuss that later on. When was the last time, bro, that you were like, I feel hungry. I'm not going to eat. I'm going to diet. I'm going to fast. On a plane. I can move. Let me tell you this one, bro. 
I normally don't eat or drink on an airplane because I don't want to have to go number two <laughs> in their bathroom. It's more work. That's why I don't do it. What if what you're experiencing isn't actual hunger? What if what you're experiencing is addiction? Holy sh! You're right. They make you addicted to these kinds of foods. For example, for popcorn, you can eat a whole tub of it and you'll still be hungry. If you tried to overeat a tomahawk steak, it'd be pretty hard because it's dense. Eat real foods. My lifestyle, I'm always like out and about. I'm not yeah. really home to it. Also, when you watch TV, they show you these Jack in a Box and Taco Bell, McDonald's commercials, they're reprogramming you. Be aware. Cook. So you don't like, have to be home and cooking, bro. It's about, it's, about be, it's about being aware, bro. It's about being aware. Maybe when you feel like, hmm, I'm gonna go to McDonald's or I'm gonna go to Taco Bell, maybe it's not that you're hungry, maybe your body's craving the poison, bro. What if the food is designed specifically to make you an addict? And that is a perfect example. I don't remember the last time I went to McDonald's, maybe a year or two ago. I would only get it if it's the only option. Coca-Cola is Coke. What do you say, it's sweet or is it salty? Sweet. Perfect, guess how much sodium is in Coca-Cola? A lot. Why? Because it's addictive. Only, not only that, why? What does salt do? It makes you thirsty. It dehydrates you and makes you drink more. Once you're aware of these things, maybe you'll care about it, maybe you won't. You're being influenced by your environment. They purposely put a lot of salt, sodium in it, to get thirsty to drink more, and then they put sugar to cover it up. I'll give, you, I'll give you an example, another one, Gatorade, right? We talked about electrolytes and it boosts you up. Do you know that when they're putting it into the actual plastic bottles, it's boiling hot? They're promoting this product like it's healthy, but if you just drink water, that's the healthiest drink that you can drink. And what is boiling plastic, right? Boiling hot water or liquid and plastic do? It dissolves the plastic into microplastic. Into the, into the thing. I'm guilty of drinking bottled water, but after watching this, I kind of don't want to buy it into anymore. The drink. There's petroleum-based ingredients in it as well. Because there's effects to drinking out of plastic bottles. It disrupts your hormones. Your hormones influence every single thing in your body. It reduces your reproductive system. Maybe if you're trying to have a kid, you're a man or a woman, it could affect those kinds of things. It increases the risk of disease. It affects your mental health, your memory issues. The tiny plastic pieces can tear apart an animal's organs. It could clog their intestines and make them feel full until they starve to death. I thought that that was interesting. I Google searched it and this popped up in AI feed. Global plastic pollution, which harms marine life, pollutes oceans and damages natural landscapes. They also use a lot of energy and re resources which are harmful to the environment. In healthcare, there's a lot of plastic parts where they're necessarily, they're necessary, you need them. For example, a plastic syringe or plastic uh, tubing that you use when you draw and I donate blood or a stent that is in your heart when you're uh, having heart surgery to open up the blood vessels. It was a perfect example of like, okay, you know what? That's why we don't vape, we don't do any of that shit. Okay, I, I thought that it was funny that he said he didn't vape, but he was smoking a real cigar. I thought it was weird, but now that I think about it this morning, the cigar is real. I'm not sure what they put in it, but vaping, who knows what's in it? And I think certain people, it, it's a fad, it, it's a vice. It's a waste of money to me. I was advocate here. Alright, you guys are telling us all this information, but guess what? You're gonna die anyway. Yeah. He said you're gonna die anyways. That's true. It's the one guarantee: death, taxes, and change. So what? But, what? Here's, but here's the thing: is how do you want to live? Yeah. It's not how do you want to die. It's how do you want to live? Like, do you want to wake up brain fog like an accident, or do you want to wake up in a scenario where you're you feel empowered to take over, to conquer? Like, how do you wake? up? There's a big difference between being out of shape and being healthy because you feel more confident. I feel happier. When I was 185, I was just mentally depressed. I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't looking good. There was a time when I had a PlayStation 5. I was playing it a lot. I let myself go. I was overweight. And my lady at the time, she said, why don't you go to the gym? And I was so lazy and she bounced. God, I don't want to wake up feeling like, bro, think about, think about how delusional it is to wake up tired. Because it's unattractive. I was unattractive when I was 185. She didn't like it, 
and I didn't like it either. Strawberry Pop-Tarts contain 2% or less dried strawberries. There was a lawsuit claimed that strawberry content is too low. The strawberry label is misleading because, uh, treat, because the treats also contain other fruits, possibly higher portions. They also put apples and pears in strawberry Pop-Tarts. It is misleading in my opinion. If it only has 2% in it, however, in March 2022, the federal judge dismissed the lawsuit, reason saying uh, the consumer would, wouldn't be fooled or would be fooled. Saying no, reasonably, that the consumer would be fooled. What do you think about this? Imagine if you ordered a steak dinner and there was only 2% steak in the dinner. Maybe they do that with TV dinners, I don't know. Yeah. What's the way to sleep? It's a wake up rested. But Mike, you're eating at two in the morning. That's me. Bro, we okay. Yeah. Okay, so you told me yesterday, bro, yeah, bro. don't do that. Cause like, for example, I'll go do the- I don't agree with the, the vulgar language. My apologies for that. Podcast, then go to the club network, you know, might go to check whatever. Yeah. And we're, you know what, you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry too. We go eat. That's his environment because they shoot a show, it's pretty late. They go out to party, they go out to drink. Maybe some of his friends, they're not necessarily healthy and they could influence him to go and eat. Obviously, if you get on a healthy regimen, it's not as enjoyable because you can't enjoy those foods. You can't go out with certain people. He might have to replace his environment, change up his schedule, set Google Calendar events, plan out his day. I'm pretty sure he's a busy guy. That's why he's not necessarily focused on these kinds of things. But Dana White, he was out of shape. I'm pretty sure the doctor said you have X amount of years left and that's why he changed. Cause life, it's your life, your freedom, your health. Eat and back to crib, do our thing and then I go to sleep. Yeah. But like he's saying, if I eat that late, I can't process the food like I normally would, right? No, 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 no. So well, there's multiple scenarios. One, your body only has X amount of energy, right? That it can expend. So the question is, is it going to expend the energy on repairing your body or expend? That's why when I was running two weeks ago, I fell on my hand and I stopped eating for two or three days so that my body would use time to heal faster versus to be wasting my time digesting food. When I woke up this morning, I'm not going to waste my time to go eat because I'm trying to be busy working. The cigar, yes, it helps you control your hunger because nicotine is the main component of smoking and it could suppress your appetite. Nicotine activates POMC cells. I don't know what that is. A type of nerve cell that regulates appetite. It also activates the fight or flight receptors which reduce hunger. Nicotine can also reduce appetite by increasing energy expenditure. I wonder how it does that. Maybe it has stimulants in it increases your resting metabolic rate amount of energy that you need throughout the day it would increase that it dulls the sense of taste and smell making food less enjoyable when i'm meal prepping I, I don't make the food taste too good because if it's too good i'll overeat it if you gave me a delicious pizza and i'm talking about a whole pizza i'm not talking about a slice of pizza you give me a whole pizza i would eat the whole thing if you gave me four burgers I would eat four burgers, but if I only had one burger, then it is what it is. Eating a lettuce wrap burger versus a burger with bread, the taste different. In fact, it affects your brain chemistry, including dopamine and serotonin levels. I'm not 100% sure the differences between these. Uh, let me know in the comments what are the differences. It's interesting what you said about breakfast at five. Energy on digesting the food. Mmm. Can't do both. So at nighttime, you gotta let your body actually rest. That's why after 6, 7, 8 p.m., you should not be touching food, bro. And, and if you're extremely, extremely, extremely... This guy, that's why this guy can get back into shape, bro, because this... One of my problems was I would get hungry at nighttime, and I wouldn't be able to sleep. Or if I'm fasting, it would affect my sleep. I noticed that if I shift my window of eating, lunch and dinner, or maybe I would eat around 2 or 3 o'clock, one big meal and then I wouldn't be hungry at nighttime. If you guys are hungry in the morning, protein shake. You could drink your coffee, maybe that would help you suppress your hunger. Or do the Brandon Carter where you're eating sardines, two cans of sardines. 
This guy naturally lives. And you could bring those things on to go to. In a state where he's doing intermittent fasting. Yeah. Every day. I'll, I'll eat three and a half thousand calories in a single meal once a day. Yeah, all the time. that's better. All the time. That seems kind of weird that you would eat once a day but I imagine on Thanksgiving where <laughs> you're eating one time a day but eating a lot you'd be eating more in excess it would keep you satiated and also depends on the kinds of foods that you're eating because if you gave me a box of cereal I could eat the whole thing versus if you gave me a tomahawk steak it'd be pretty hard to put it down he was saying be aware of what you're consuming with what you're seeing what you're hearing you're smelling your taste, your touch, how you're feeling in your heart, and what you're eating. For example, if I was seeing something negative, a movie, or imagine if you were a firefighter or a police officer, and you've seen a lot of negative things throughout your work, your life, it would influence how you think. What you're hearing, if you're listening to bad music, bad content, it's reprogramming you throughout your life. What you're smelling, maybe you're working on a construction site, and you're smelling things. If you drive across the Dunbarton Bridge, you live in a Bay Area, you know what I'm talking about because there's a lot of garbage places. There's like sewage treatment plants and it smells pretty bad. When you're driving across those bridges, if you live in Milpitas or Fremont, it smells pretty bad. In the summertime in Gilroy, it does as well. Taste, touch, maybe you could touch something that is bad. I just sprayed on some sunblock who knows if it's good for me or not maybe i should wear a long sleeve shirt instead of using sunblock when i used to go to dancing class and i used to analyze people's bodies and they stay up i'm assuming they stay up pretty late who knows what they're eating maybe they're drinking alcohol maybe they're smoking i would have to ask these kinds of things but if i'm 185 i'm not gonna feel good what you're eating be aware this is a Lao Tzu quote Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny. And it's what you're doing day in, day out. Most people, 50 to 60,000 thoughts a day. You talk to yourself most. So you should learn how to be your friend. Don't be as harsh. Be aware of the language that you're using when you make, when I made a mistake editing, I made a video yesterday. I used a brand new mic and I didn't test it. The audio was bad. I couldn't even use the video. I have to re-record it today. I was really angry at myself. Be aware and be accountable for the things that you're doing. It's your body, your responsibility. No doctor, no trainer can make you healthy or fit. Uh, all boys become men. That's what I do. It's the most it, ideal thing. Yeah, not before. So I always go to sleep a bit hungry. You know, I don't have breakfast in the morning. It's, uh, yeah, I, I don't even realize I do it. Pain and pleasure is normal. You're not always going to have pleasure and you're not always going to have pain. But whether you follow a healthy diet or you don't, you will feel pain. It's work. And you decide what kind of pain, what kind of problems you want to have. Everything in life is a trade-off and you will make sacrifices to elevate, stay static, or decline. So I should avoid breakfast. Avoid breakfast, yeah. So let me tell you about so let me tell you about the breakfast diet. Let me tell you about the breakfast diet. Have you heard of a guy called Edward Bernay? It all comes down to money, but when I was a kid, I saw my dad, he used to smoke. He smoked at 14. I think it's a way for him to calm himself. I never got into it. I tried it and I was disgusted by it. I also tried to drink too and at the time you just don't have the taste buds when you're young. When I was in high school I used to hang out with monk people and they played soccer and they said why would I put that into my body because they're athletes they play soccer they gotta run. But I also met people where my couple fraternity brothers where they smoke and they could outrun me because they just train you. They're, they're just using it as a vice but tobacco is used as a vice due to its adverse health effects and addictive nature. These are examples of vices. My dad smoked around me when I was young and it gave me a headache and I didn't like it. I don't think that he was doing it maliciously to hurt me, it's just something that he did. When I met my mother, when I was 39, she smoked too. 
And both of them they're suffering from anxiety. They were anxious about the future. They worried a lot. Worrying doesn't do anything because you don't control the past. You don't control the future. What you focus on is what you'll get. You don't control other people either. You can only control yourself and learn how to master yourself. Excessive drinking, consuming alcohol to the point of intoxication or dependency is a common vice. It costs money. It alters the way that you think and feel. Sometimes it's cool when you're going out in a social event or if you're going on a date or something, but these are empty calories. Everything is a tool depending on the metric of what you're trying to do. Drug abuse, illicit drug use, such as heroin, cocaine, I never tried these. It's interesting to hear people's stories of how these things affect them. And I could be curious as to know how it feels, what it's doing to your body. I wonder if these are used in fitness, how it affects your body. Gambling addiction, my dad gambled. He lost a lot of money, it was pretty bad. If you can't pay your bills, you can't take care of your kids. If, if you're doing these kinds of things, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. He's in a survival state. That's probably why he was doing those things. I said that I never got into gambling, but that's not necessarily true because when I started investing, I was day trading and I lost a lot of money. Just be aware of the things that you're doing, the trends. If you're greedy, excessive desire for wealth or materials, often expense of the others and consider advice a normal moral framework. I've been guilty of this too. Where I was greedy. I wanted to work more to be able to buy things, but I come to the point in life where I have everything that I need. I don't necessarily need to buy more things because if I did, then I would be searching for externals. Obviously when I'm shopping on Amazon, it's cool, right? You buy something, you get it. And then a day later, it's like, ah, uh, like these kinds of things. I. My mom taught me how to make these bracelets. They're pretty cheap. You could go to Michael Hobby Lobby. You could learn how to make them. I value them more because I made them. Not the beads, but I've done together. They're cheap. It's a little uh, accessory that you can have. Lust, untrained sexual desires or behaviors can lead to harmful consequences and are often viewed as a vice because you're giving away your time, your attention to something else, to someone else, gluttony overindulgence in food and drinks beyond what is necessary for nourishment. I'm guilty of this too. I would go out to a friend's place or I would go out and I would just, once I start eating, I, I can't control myself. That's why these kinds of foods, these kinds of drinks, I don't buy them. Drinks are expensive too. If you go out, a drink can cost you as much as a dish. Plus you gotta pay tip on top of that. And what's in it, you never know what's in it. When you go out, you can't necessarily calculate what's in these kinds of things. For example, if you want out for brunch, scrambled eggs, you don't really know how many eggs are in it. That's why Brandon Carter, he asks for whole eggs so that he could count it. In terms of orange juice, if I was drinking a glass of orange juice, how many oranges does it take to make that juice? I would say maybe 10, hypothetically 10. How many calories are in 10 oranges? Maybe a thousand. That means that a orange juice, if I had two glasses of orange juice, that's half of my caloric intake for the day. And there's little to no protein in it. You have to figure out what kinds of foods fit your macros that you become the person that you wanna be. I believe that I wanna look good for myself so that I could project this to other people. It's kind of vanity where you wanna look good for yourself and other people as well. Envy, resenting other people, for their success, th this could also be similar to jealousy. You don't want to feel these kinds of things. If I see this guy, he's successful, he's fit, he's articulate, and I'm happy for him. He's giving me content, he's giving me information, he's teaching me. By example, wrath, uncontrollable anger, hostility towards other people. Sometimes certain people, they could show anger and that's how they feel about themselves. I'm not necessarily going to argue with certain people. If you want to be fit, if you want to be unhealthy, it's your freedom to do. It goes back to religion. If I, somebody was religious, I could see the benefits of it. But if I don't want to be a religious person, it's my right to do. There's consequences for the things that you do and the things that you do not do. 
by overloading your body these are still a quotes by the way if you overload your body with food you strangle the soul and render it less active these kinds of struggles these kinds of people they were smart back in the days how old is Seneca's content? I have no idea. Comment down below how old is he is. But even if you read the Bible, they knew fasting was important. If you're sick and you fasted, you can possibly heal yourself faster. Stoics believe the purpose of eating is not to feel pleasure, to overeat the sake of health. They also believe that food quality or quantity is not cause of mental issues but rather the reason for eating stoics should eat the lightest and most pure foods to avoid luxuries like meats and dainties what is a dainties something good to eat the list i don't know how to pronounce that but no, holy so edward bernay is known as the father of propaganda uh, uh, i think it was uh when breakfast wasn't really popular people will try and convince you and sell you on the things that they are trying to provide to you and that may or not be good for you when i'm talking to you guys right now i'm not monetized i don't get anything out of it and it's probably more for me so that i could learn how to live a better life i like learning i was curious about these things the cigar why he's using it and maybe you guys could learn from me and take my words as a grain of salt. I'm not necessarily correct in everything that I say. I'm still learning and have an open mind, open heart. When I was 180, I was embarrassed of myself. I shamed myself. When I looked in the mirror, I didn't feel attractive to myself. I didn't love myself at the time. I let myself go. Obviously, throughout life, you have different priorities. You could be going through a relationship, I remember, I got dumped uh, 2022. It took me a year and a half to get over it. I still love this person, but you gotta love yourself first. Take the steps to love yourself, to overcome your fears of not being loved. You have to love yourself. Like I was saying earlier, when I was out of shape, my relationship had dissolved because you get comfortable. Right? You wanna spend time with this person, you wanna hang out, but when you're in solitude, when you're training alone, you can be strong as well as when you're with people because people can teach you. That's why you guys should be social. You guys should go talk to people. And if you're happier, it makes the quality of your life better and it extends your life. I was at a low point on my life. I considered the lead. The meat industry came to Edward Bernay, who's known as the father of propaganda, pushing propaganda campaigns and said, we need to push more sales of bacon more sales of meat can we figure out how to in bacon is processed but i wonder what are the long-term effects of being on a carnivore diet because different meats have different profiles uh, fish has different fat content than pork introduce meats into the breakfast diet so they built an entire marketing campaign behind breakfast being the most important meal of the day for example for breakfast most people don't eat breakfast or they don't go out because they're busy going to work and how can you increase sales of breakfast? You could tell the doctors to say, oh, you should eat three times a day. When I believe historically, people weren't eating three times a day because maybe they didn't have a refrigerator. We have so much access and freedom to food. That that's why it's hard to, uh, it's like having internet. Back in the days, there wasn't Google. It skyrocketed. Sausage sales, bacon sales, Egg. ham sales. Bro, breakfast wasn't a thing. They made it a thing. I'm also curious about how, how is ham made? How is bologna made? How is sausage made? Why don't you guys comment down below how it's made? And once you figure out how it's made, do you still want to eat it? Money, bro. And, 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 and you want to know, cra you know the craziest part? You know who's the nephew of, or the family member? I think of Sigmund Freud, one of these guys. Of the guy from Propaganda, Edward Bernay. You know who's his family member? Okay. The founder of Netflix. Do your own research. I'm not sure if these are factual information. Food. There's a lot of food documentaries on Netflix. Obviously, you're arguing on two different sides. For example, vegetarians versus people that eat both. If you look at certain cultures, for example, the Japanese people, they eat a lot of rice and they eat a lot of fish. But 
If I ate a lot of rice being living in the United States, I blow up because it's the environment, it's how the food is made. So do your own research on these kinds of things. He asked uh, if I'm hungry, what do I do? And he already knows what to do. But living his kind of lifestyle, it's enjoyable to eat McDonald's when it's late at night because not many places are open. He could drink snake juice, just kidding, kind of. But if, if you're trying to fast, this is one tool you could use. Imagine if he was drinking two gallons of water, he would be walking back and forth to go to the bathroom. His body would be more active. There's little to no calories in black coffee. It increases your metabolism. It can curb hunger. You could drink up to four servings of coffee a day. Maybe certain people drink more than teas. Stain my teeth, that's why I haven't been drinking them. I should drink more water. Even my Brita, it's plastic. The filter's plastic. I wonder how healthy it is. Like, what are the trade-offs to not using it? It's the equivalent of, you know, microwaving your food. It's about the best solution. It's your return on investment, your time that you're buying back. So that's the research that you're trying have to try and figure out. If you're overweight, your body has reserves. One pound of fat is 3,500 calories, hypothetically. I'm not a nutritionist. If I'm 10 pounds overweight, that means I have about 20 days worth of reserves. Longest water fast I did was eight days. I haven't been able to be eight days. And what is Netflix, bro? It's propaganda machines, bro. Probably. Also check this movie out, The Snow Society. It's pretty cool, it's about a rugby team they're flying over the mountains comment down below if you know which mountains their airplane crashed during the winter time it's pretty cold up there elevations real high news of the plane crashed on october 13th 1972 quickly spread across the world the charter flight was carrying the team to a match in santiago the chile capital 29 people passed away 16 managed to live. I believe they were all man too. But two survived 72 days under the most precarious conditions without food, adequate shelter, or supplies. These guys, they survived in the harshest conditions. Only in today's time do we enjoy these comforts. That's why some people, they would say, oh, you should eat three times a day. If I fasted for a couple days, they would be concerned. If you're trying to or I, sometimes it's better not even to tell other people about it because they're going to place their beliefs onto you. If you know where you want to go, you're intelligent, you figure it out for yourself. Propaganda machines, bro. Wow. I'm telling you, bro, the matrix is cheap. You got to start like re 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 reassessing. Also in terms of a medical provider, I did go to nursing school. I studied human biology. And they swear an oath not to do harm. To uh, make someone fast, it could be considered a harm. But what is worse, if I was overeating, you could give me a pill or a drug to, to make me change or can give me information to make me have better health habits. What solves the root of the problem? For example, my thyroid. My endocrinologist, she said, you, you can take pills or we could remove it. And I was thinking, why would I want you to take my thyroid? Because then I would be dependent on pills my whole life. These kinds of things, they affect you. And most healthcare providers, they don't necessarily specialize in nutrition. Yes, they take some classes in the US. It's more based on procedures, medications. I'm pretty sure there's other ways to do it. It just depends on what route you want to take. If I wanted to go to San Francisco, how can I do it? I could take the 101, the 280, I could go local. I could take a Uber, I could take a train, a bike, pick your path. Fasting can be seen as cool and unusual treatment, but if you're getting blood work done, surgery, they would ask you to fast, and they don't necessarily want you to be going to the bathroom when you're under. During a surgery, uh, master yourself, learn how to have self-control. You determine how you look, how you feel, what you focus on. I was watching a Jubilee YouTube, and it was law enforcement versus criminals. And one guy said, oh, I watch the news every day. I'm in fear for my life. Don't watch the news because they're trying to capture attention. They're making money off of your fear. 
consume things that will help you, such as a self-development book. Look up positive creators. If you think of YouTube as your universe, whatever you search for, it's going to give it to you. If you're searching for bad music, it's going to give it to you. But if you're searching for stoicism, things that can actually help you, learn what works for you. Because everyone's different at the end of the day. It's your life, your responsibility. You learn behaviors from your family and your past. Your parents, they're reflections of you. And you attract mirrors of yourself. If you want to be great in life, you have to level yourself up. And you will attract those kinds of relationships and opportunities into your life. Look good, feel good. When you're strong, you're healthy, you're educated and shredded, you'll feel like you're Superman. When you look your best, you can look up to yourself. You could be your own role model. It's the equivalent of uh, people watching athletes playing sports. You wear their jersey, you wear their name on your back. Why don't you become that athlete? Why don't you wear your own name on your back and be proud of yourself, have self-respect and love? These values can't be taught. They must be earned through dedication and persistence. I've been out of shape and I didn't believe in myself at the time. I didn't have fire to change. But once I learned, for example, there's 26 days of summer, I'm trying to use that as pressure and pressure makes diamonds. You could get those newbie gains by doing basic things such as going for a walk, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, air squats. You just need to be around these kinds of environments, these kinds of people that motivate you. If you're around bad people with unhealthy habits, then you might need to cut out or limit your time with them. Even if they're fr friends, even if they're your blood. Sprinkle in some pull-ups. Do jumping jacks, shadow box like the YouTuber Chaz. Watch his content. He has good workout videos. Set Google Calendar events. Schedule out your day. Negotiate with yourself what you're willing to do. Take baby steps. For example, if you can only walk, try it out. Go for a five minute walk, see what you could get. I'm pretty sure five minutes turn into 10 to 15 to half an hour. You could do an hour walk. Listen to audiobook. Talk to your family while you go out for a walk. Enjoy the scenery, the sun. Certain ethnicities are more predisposed to certain diseases heart disease, stroke, type 2, diabetes. The most important assets you have are your freedom, your time, and your health. What can I eat? He fresh asked this in the beginning. Eat real foods, eat vegetables, fruits. I've been buying frozen broccoli, frozen berries. There's a trade-off too, right? Because I could buy organic berries and strawberries. Whatever they're putting on these frozen foods, they say that frozen foods, the nutrients get locked in. Sometimes when you're buying fresh blackberries, they're rotten already. When you bring them home, make sure you inspect them. Drink water, black coffee, teas. Don't drink calories unless it's a protein shake. A lot of foods that you buy if they're processed, if you look at the nutritional packaging, the list, a lot of times they have ingredients. I have no clue what they are. You'd have to Google search it peanut butter they put a bunch of hydrogenated oil all the things in it versus peanut butter where it's only peanuts and keep in mind that sometimes food companies they may leave certain things out that they could manipulate the numbers and labels to make you think a certain way they're real smart you have to do the research it's your body to be healthy don't make your food taste good when you're meal prepping so you don't overeat it you could design your diet however you want whatever you're going to be consistent with whether it's keto paleo carnivore diet one meal a day two meals a day if you need to eat five meals a day i couldn't do it because it's more work you have to eat small meals i don't like eating small meals i like eating big boy meals and it comes from being poor scarce mindset uh, who knows where your meal is going to come. A 5-2 diet, you eat 5 times a week. 2 days you don't eat. Or on those 2 days you only eat 500 calories. Find what you could be consistent with. I reprogrammed my mind. I had to prime my mind to be painted. I used these 3 videos. Brandon Carter, I looped them. I would listen to them all day every day. He would motivate me to 
get ready for the summer. He has really good advice. I resonate with him. He doesn't baby you as a person. And he's on point. He's somebody that I would aspire to be like. Once you finish watching these videos, watch them 30 times more, take notes on them. You could download these tracks and make them audio files, put them on your phone so that when you're driving, you're walking, you can listen to these types of information. Fresh said that everybody is going to die and it's true, everybody is going to die. Luke said, that's true, but how do you want to live? How do you want to live for yourself? How do you want to live for other people? Because you never know who you're going to help. And the same way of his friends are influencing to stay out, to drink or whatever he's doing to eat McDonald's. He's rich, why is he eating at McDonald's? It doesn't make sense. Be the hero in your movie. If you eat late, your body is not resting as it is digesting the food. Consolidate your meals with high quality, nutritious food. They teach you this in school. With HOMAC, I like gym, because those are useful classes. Typing class, Spanish, those classes are useful, math. We know these things, but why do we do what we do when we know what we know? It's because we're being influenced by the richest companies. You could be influenced by other people, whether you're dating, you could be gaslighted, if you're intelligent, you know where you want to go, you'll be able to defend yourself. Consolidate your meals. If you're hungry in the morning, drink a protein shake. You should be so busy, you don't have time to eat breakfast. If you want to eat breakfast, go for it. Some people say you can eat a light breakfast in terms of high protein, low carb, so that it's light. Imagine if you're eating Thanksgiving dinner. It's heavy, you have coma after that food tastes so good that you're gonna want to eat leftovers I have loved food more than I love myself at times if you gave me a pot of brownies I'll destroy the whole thing why make other companies and people rich at your own expense this person's making one thousand six hundred to twenty six thousand dollars a month if it doesn't make dollars then it doesn't make sense this is true In this sense it reminds me of cents the pennies the nickels Focus on a journey instead of the destination. Live in the moment. And it's easier said than done. This is one of my problems that I have. I'm focusing on retirement when I should be enjoying living the day to day. Find passions, things that you love, because it will make you happier. He was right when he said everybody dies, but not everybody lives. T.I. made a song about that. Change your lifestyle of going out late, drinking and eating junk food. Fresh is a smart guy. He's smart in the area that he specializes in. And I'm surprised that he has these kinds of problems, but everybody has problems. And you're not necessarily going to be optimized in every single area. I'm pretty sure I could learn certain things about dating and relationships, finance from Fresh because he's rich, he's successful in the things that he's doing. It's good that he has these kinds of people to educate him, to help him. Because I think these guys could be saving his life. If you're eating McDonald's going out late, it, sh it takes years off of your life. Change the people who you surround yourself with. Social gatherings makes you feel good because you're with friends, you're eating and drinking, but might not be good in the long run. That goes back into the crab in a bucket mentality. Misery loves company. They're going to want to pull you back in because they want you in their crew. They want you to make them feel good, but it goes both ways. If I'm telling my roastmate, oh, you should read the new psychology of winning, I think that it could help you because I went through relationship problems and I think that it could help you. If you don't change your problems, they'll follow you. If you don't learn now, you'll have the same problems later on. Unhealthy people will try and convince you to stay on their low level. I don't think they're maliciously trying to do it. It's what they know, it's what makes them feel good. Your body secretes human growth hormone when you're sleeping and exercising and fasting. When you're doing these kinds of things above, you're not secreting, you're not healing. Even in biblical times, they knew fasting was important. Food has never been so readily available like today. The benefits on one meal a day is you save time, less cleanup, less trash, less cooking, less bathroom, 
less brushing and flossing. You're also using your digestive system, less quality of food that you eat and determine how you think, how you feel. Poor people, they die from starvation. Rich people die from overconsumption. It's been shown throughout history that if you're the leader of North Korea, for example, Frager Woods, you can't necessarily knock him because your average man isn't going to have all of these types of people approaching him, offering him certain things. Food companies are in business to make money. And don't be so loyal to a brand or company that you're not loyal to yourself. It doesn't matter if the person is your blood, your best friend, or your woman. If these anchors are on your ship, they're stopping you from going at top speed. They're stopping you from going to your destination. Cut these ties. You're competing with the richest and smartest people and they're very tactical. They're taking away your time, your attention and resources. They make foods very addictive and not very satiating. They process the foods and they use cheap ingredients to increase their profit margins. Eating all the trash that you want and tell yourself how you feel. If you have a craving, go for it. Get it out of your system. If you like ice cream, eat a whole tub of it and then tell me how you feel after you eat it. Record a video of yourself eating this food. Sometimes when I was eating garbage food, I would be embarrassed if somebody saw me because I know in my heart that it's not a good thing for me to do. It looks bad. Record a video of yourself eating, take a picture of these things and post them up. I'm eating a whole box of cereal. I'm eating chips and candy. If you gave me a box of chocolates, I'd eat the whole thing. One of my friends, he bought me those uh, Rocher chocolates. He bought me a, a big box, 30 count. Man, I ate the whole thing in a day. I told him, don't buy these things for me because I ate the whole thing in a day. I admitted it. I was accountable. Take off your shirt. How do you look in a mirror? Buy a fitness tracker. I bought this, this whoop strap. How I figured I have it on because it's up here. It should come with a, a bicep strap only because you could cut it. They, they're trying to save money on the material. If you have this whoop band tracker, it tracks your sleep. It tells you how many calories you're burning. Get a notional tracker. You can use this Nutrition X to track your macros. It has an app. Let me know if you want me to make a video on these things. It's kind of everything. Right it, there's a really good verse in the Bible that says, when I became a man, I put away childish things. Yeah. You have to be able to put away. Some people could say that he's shaming him right now. And sometimes if you're talking to somebody, they're not going to get it unless you strike a chord. And I like this person because he's direct. He's honest. It's intentions of what he's trying to do. He's not trying to insult Fresh. He's trying to help him like a brother. Way things to become the, ne the next guy, bro. You gotta become the next level to get to the next level, bro. You gotta put away the bull. You have to associate with people that you want aspire to be like and consume the content that can help you get to where you wanna go, use it as a tool. You're stronger than that, G. If you can't control what you put in your, in your body, then what can you actually control? Nobody's forcing these things down your throat unless you're a kid. I'm hungry. You don't control your food when you're a kid because you're not making money. When you're a kid, you could see how your parents act and they could be role models or they could be reverse role models. When you get older, you have the intelligence to determine what is good for you. If you're, you're working two jobs, you don't have the time. Figure out a way. If you're a truck driver, they don't necessarily have the best options. I wonder if you're a truck driver and you had access to air fryer, you could plug it up, get a steak, get some vegetables, pop in and cook it. What do I do? You, I mean, you ask yourself, do I need to eat? No, it's okay being hungry, G. You're not gonna die. When you're eating, you're around other people and you're trying to be healthier. It's hard to stand out from the crowd, but could be proud of yourself when you do these kinds of things. When I'm at home, I could have my shirt off, I could be in my underwear, and it keeps you accountable because you can see what you look like when you're looking in the mirror. If you don't like what you look like, you could change it. You put in the work, there's free resources, ask Google, ask ChatGPT, find a content creator that resonates with you, like Brandon Carter, David Goggins, 
listen to motivational tracks if you don't want to work out you can listen to music you could jump rope just fi find these tools you could join a gym and surround yourself with other people they can motivate you you could see the things that they're doing you could talk to them they can inspire you you can inspire someone else you might be helping someone else in the future by solving your problems because your problems might be your brother's problems all right let me know please like share and subscribe comment down below let me know what kind of content you want me to create in the future i know i need to work on my communication skills i can barely read these kinds of things i'm cold right now i just woke up i popped up i watched this at two o'clock in the morning i thought it was interesting i hope you guys got value out of it i hope you guys have a great day count your blessings you have freedom you have time you have intelligence you have your abilities you have your family some people have them some don't you have your friends try and help your friends out sons out make sure that you work for the things that you want in life and i hope that you have the desire and consistency to achieve anything you want in life one life one love